Good morning. I'm on my way to uh, Wingfield Castle. It's a nice ride. It is uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes bike ride from, uh, from Tatjana. But it is really nice and beautiful here and really quiet. Beautiful countryside. So I'm uh, almost there. So let me show you. It's all countryside here. And I'm quite high here. This part of Suffolk is, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite hilly. So I have to be quick. I said good morning, but it is already afternoon. So, okay. I'm almost there, so I take you for a ride with me. And then, uh, I have no idea, so very excited to see it. A leisurely bike ride away is Wingfield Castle, a fortified manor house in the parish of Wingfield in Suffolk, England. Not to be confused with another medieval house, Wingfield Manor, far away in Derbyshire from around the same period, Wingfield Castle was the ancestral home of the Wingfield family and their heirs, the de la Pole family. They were earls and dukes of Suffolk. The building has had many owners and many periods of construction over the centuries and is now a private home. Okay, <laughs> I think it's private, so hmm. I have to drive around it to see if I can see it from some point. No idea. So the castle is on the right, so see if we can go here to see a glimpse. Glimpse. Diesel is with me. Come boy, this way. There's a lot of bushes here, so I'm not sure, but we can try. Diesel is coming. There's nobody here, so he will be fine. Let's see. Kessel, where are you? It's private property, so that's why the, the gate was closed. Here I see some side buildings. Okay. There with 
pops up. That looks very old. And Diesel walks the wrong way, so I have to get him. See you later. So I got Diesel. <laughs> Totally the wrong way. So there's a farm there, and here is the castle. Let's see if we can walk a little bit further. Beautiful old trees here. That is a huge chimney. So that has to be a huge fireplace inside there. goes further away from the castle. So let's see. There's a pot. There's a pot, and you can make fantastic walks around here. Oh, and here goes it. Maybe because there's water all around the property. So I don't know. Let's try. There's a gate there, so no. we go back and I try it uh, on the other side. Sir John de Wingfield, who died in 1361, was the last Wingfield to live there. His tomb with its striking medieval stone effigy can be found in St. Andrew's Church, also in Wingfield, Suffolk. The building is now an unusual looking hybrid fortified manor house. In the late 1300s, Sir John de Wingfield's descendant, Michael de la Pole, first Earl of Suffolk, applied for royal license to crenellate his manor house. In other words, permission to add features which would make the house a defensive fortification, but also visually signify his aristocratic status and favor with the king. In the 1500s and early 1900s, large parts of the building were extensively demolished and reconstructed, but retained some of the original timbers, crenellated stone gatehouse, battlement wall, and a drawbridge that still spans the eastern side of the moat. As a result, Wingfield Castle is a cross between a moated manor house and a storybook stone fortress. Much of the history of this unusual hybrid castle manor house is unknown, but like many medieval castles in England, drama and intrigue surrounds the property and its owners. For example, another 
Wingfield Castle owner Edmund de la Pole, who was the third Duke of Suffolk, fell out of favor with the king and was forced to surrender his dukedom in 1493. But that was only the start. The dukedom of Suffolk was first created 66 years earlier by Henry VI for Edmund's grandfather, William de la Pole, the original first Duke of Suffolk and previously also an Earl of Suffolk and a Marquess of Suffolk. But then, confusingly, the title was resurrected by King Henry VIII in 1514 for his brother-in-law, Charles Brandon, who then became the first Duke of Suffolk. Charles Brandon had no close connection with Wingfield Castle or the County of Suffolk, but, his, but he was the great-grandson of another Wingfield from another part of Suffolk, whose relation to the Wingfields of Wingfield Castle is still unknown. To make matters that much more confusing, the dukedom was again recreated and in 1551, Henry Grey, that was the father of Lady Jane Grey, the Nine Days Queen of England, became the first Duke of Suffolk. So within less than 100 years, there were three first Dukes of Suffolk who were all linked to this castle. We found quite a few other interesting morsels of information about this mysterious local castle. For example, the castle was the inspiration for Godsend Castle in the 1949 novel I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, who later became famous for writing the children's classic The 101 Dalmatians. As it's a private house, it's unfortunately difficult to get a good image without trespassing, but we'll include a link of a really interesting and well done digital reconstruction of what Wingfield Castle would have looked like in the 15th century. So now I walked uh, on the other side. So let's see if we can get a glimpse. It's called Castle Farm. So here it is. This is the only road that leads to the castle. And it is in Castle Farm. You see the castle behind the farm, but the farm is totally empty. So, yeah, well, it's a pity. I thought maybe we can go uh, this way a bit, a little bit closer to the to the to the castle, but it's a privacy. So I'm, uh, yeah, well, I'm going back to Tatiana and uh, having a nice cup of tea with a nice piece of cake. Okay, see you later. Mm -hmm.